Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Quiver 2 pin pen holder for moleskin and other types of small pocket journals. In an earlier video, we took a look at the Quiver, the one that attaches to the, the spine and holds one pin. And although I thought this might be good for people who carried their journals around in their backpacks or purses, that kind of thing, it kind of got in the way for me carrying it in my pocket. So I want to check out the two pin one that attaches to the front. So let's open this thing up and take a look at it and see. Well, me versus the box isn't working out so hot. All right. So let's open this thing up and take a look at it. This one, just like the other one, is made of leather, I believe. And looks kind of cool so far. I'm assuming I can find the place to open it. There we go. Alright. So let's take a look at this. So it attaches just like the other one. It loops around the cover. And I'm assuming top, bottom. So Here's an example. This one is a hardcover journal. So let's take a look at it and see how it fits. So we just slide it over the cover, like so. Maybe we slide it over the cover. We slide it over the cover, like so. All right. We slide it over the cover, like so. It's kind of a snug fit. Well, I am not a fan of this at all. Alright. So, this is a standard 3.5 by 5.5 inch moleskin journal. And it definitely sits there snugly. It seems like it might be a little better the farther you put it out toward the cover. Let's see. I can tell you right now, if you, like me, use a soft cover one of these, I don't think this will survive at all. I don't think, I think this is too much for the soft skin journal, the soft cover journals. So, if you carry a soft cover journal, this is probably already a no. It's supposed to hold two pins, so let's try it out. Got a Sharpie, and... Uh, a marker, a little paper mate marker. So it holds them pretty good. I mean, I like that. Now, the problem is putting it farther out interferes with this. Hmm. Okay. So maybe we gotta find a happy medium. According to this, you're supposed to line it up on this side. So let's. Let's try it like that, like they suggest. Okay. That part doesn't work. You can't close it. Um, I can tell you from carrying around a hardcover one of these for a while, doing something like this will break that spine pretty quickly. You can see you can't close it. So, hmm. Uh, if we try like part of the way out, it isn't too bad to adjust this, but it's just, I mean, like it's snug. I mean, you want it, you want it to be snug because you don't want it to come off, but I think it might be. I think that there needs to be more elastic here and like the elastic needs to go over to the front to go over to the front cover. The problem is that this leather is pretty thick. Can you see how thick that leather is? And it just it's hard to close it. It's less bad with them kind of like in the middle. Like right here. Let's see if we can line up. Like this is 
this is probably the least awful and you can close the journal it doesn't get in I think it gets in the way a little bit of, of removing the elastic to open your journal but not too bad so I don't know I don't think this, this works very well at all for a soft cover journal so I'm out of luck with this one I I can tell you that before putting before putting this one on I thought this one was tough to put on this was awkward to put on and this is not so bad anymore I really do like the whole pen sitting on the front thing I think that if there was a way to put this on a soft cover journal and I mean it's just it's too tight I think that it'll basically fold up the cover of your journal if it's a soft cover one but I like I like the format for this where you can grab it like so and slide it in your pocket pretty easily and I don't know I think if I carried a pocket if I carried after playing with this as you've seen it's it's much more reasonable to have it about part way down the cover like this where you have your spine here and there's a little bit of space you're gonna get your cover binding a little um, bending a little bit anyway or bowing a little bit anyway but it's not too bad and I mean it it, it seems I mean it's not gonna come off it's not gonna just accidentally fly off so that's a maybe hmm the question is which one is better if I carried my hardcover, if, if I carried a hardcover journal in my pocket, and I don't, I don't think this will split. I don't think I don't think having it here will break your spine, like break the spine of your journal. I think it's going to be harder on it, but it like positioning this like it shows in the picture where it's like right next to the spine of your journal I think that's gonna break the spine pretty quick and you're just gonna end up with well if you've used these journals for a while you know you know what they get you know how they get when you break the spine on them so definitely not like the picture like for sure um, uh, if I carried this around in my pocket I think I would like it if I had a hardcover journal. And the other thing that I do actually like about this is it sets it sits relatively flat. You know, you don't run into the problem you had with the other quiver where you kind of, you know, it sticks up like that. So you can lay this one mostly flat and it'll be pretty good. I just don't know about this. It kind of bugs me a little bit that it just it doesn't close so well. I like the look of it. I just kind of feel like maybe there could have been the it could have been modified a little bit to make it better. Anyway, I hope that has helped if you're shopping for a pen holder to go on your moleskin journals. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check this thing out. This is the Quiver 2 pen holder and I can leave a link to this one too if you want to look at the one pen holder. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for anything you'd like to see me review, leave a comment down below. And I hope you have an excellent day.